everybody welcome back to my channel um before we get started don't mind the stuffy nose and the little coughs i am not super sick i just have a really sore throat and then i have really bad allergies right now um where we're staying i normally get super bad allergies so i sound like a dude but it's okay. I am still here. I'm still gonna be making this video for you. Before we get started, make sure you guys comment down below any questions you might have. I've been going on and answering questions. I'm sorry if I don't get to your questions. I normally go on for like 20 minutes and I just scroll and comment on as many as I can. So if I don't comment on yours, maybe I will in a few days or whatever, but comment stuff. Also, comment down below your guys' video, video ideas you guys want to see. I'm loving the input you're giving me, so keep on giving that input. I have been writing down all these ideas you've been giving me, so thank you so much. So, keep commenting, subscribe, subscribe to Clearlaya Vlogs as well, and let's just get on to this video. A lot of you guys may actually think that I am always happy. So you're probably thinking, why are you making this video? You're always happy. The truth is you guys actually don't see a lot of my life and I'm actually trying to make it so you guys can see more of my life more of the real me I mean this is the real me I am it's me guys it's clay right here you know there are some really hard times for me I can get very 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 sad over stupid things honestly and uh, just not always really happy and positive I actually went through a phase in my life where I was so depressed I mean I, I don't I can't say depressed because I wasn't really depressed but I was just so so sad I didn't want to get out of bed I wanted to just sleep through the day like I'm being completely honest I didn't want to do anything this was actually during the time when I uh, when I actually stopped with Claylea vlogs I was still posting on Claylea but not as much and I just wasn't feeling it as much. And uh, you know what? I started getting so low, I wanted to change that. I didn't, I hated being like depressed or unhappy and just not motivated. And so a lot of these things that I'm going to be talking to you about today, things that I have done and I feel have helped me the most, some things I did find from other people that they have done, but a lot of these things are things that I personally worked on and did myself and I found a huge result in myself, the way I was. You guys have actually noticed my videos have been better, they've been more upbeat, more just happier, and uh, that's because I decided I wanted to change the way I was and become more happy. So, here are a few different things that have helped me. Um, the first one I would say is celebrating the wins. For me personally, with my personality, I tend to be really hard on myself. I am a I'm very big critique on myself. I actually can on other people, which is another thing I've been working on. I mean, we are not all perfect, but it's definitely something I've needed to work on. I've just found that when, if I am being a really big critique, it can just bring me down, make me feel way worse about myself, then make me not want to do it because I'm not going to be good enough. It's just like a really big chain reaction and it's not a good chain reaction i found that when i celebrated the wins or the good things that i did it made me feel more positive made me feel more more excited to keep going keep doing good things um now you can hmm. <laughs> i'm still on camera okay so i found that when i did celebrate the wins like i was like hey you know what I woke up right when I needed to. I got dressed, I made my bed, I got ready for the day all before the time when I thought I would or before the time I did yesterday. That is awesome. It then makes me want to keep going like, hey, what are more things that I can do? What are, like, what else can I do to be better? Maybe not be better, but like, what else can I do? This feels great. It honestly feels great when you are finding the wins that you're doing. It makes you feel good about yourself. You're doing something good. And you know what? Then the chain reaction goes upwards rather than downwards like we just talked about. Another thing similar to that is to write down everything you're grateful for. You could do this in the morning time or at night time. I always do it at night. I actually have a book and I write down a full page. It's a small journal. It's like this big be that big and I just write down a full page of everything I am grateful for maybe the biggest things because I mean you could say like I'm grateful for my house I'm grateful for my food but I actually go a lot more personally because it makes me realize like how blessed I actually am 
and it takes away those negative thoughts that I may have had or might end up having and those selfish thoughts. Another great one is if you have those negative thoughts towards someone, turn that into positivity. Think of something good about them. So say you're walking in the halls and you have not the best story with one of your friends. Maybe you guys had a fight or maybe they said something rude about you or something. Or maybe it's just a judgmental comment, maybe specifically judgmental. Instead of thinking those bad things or lesser things think of something good like oh my gosh she looks so pretty today or he looks cute today whatever it is and just think of those positive things and if you can maybe say them too you don't have to say them but thinking the thought can be a great step just thinking of those positive thoughts can make you a lot more positive and get all that negativity out of you let's pull that negativity away and like I said if you actually say it it means so much more and you know what that might actually make them feel so much better maybe that'll actually bring a connection to you guys and it'll do so much more than just make you happier make you more positive it can fix that relationship or that issue that happened and you know what sometimes it might not sometimes you do have bigger things than that but you know what you're being the bigger and better person which then makes you much happier and just feel a lot better about yourself now when I am saying feeling better about yourself I'm not meaning like in a cocky way like I'm so much better than her, but just not thinking super down of yourself. Just like, hey, you know what? I actually look pretty today. Like, I didn't put makeup on, I'm wearing braids, and I've got sweatpants on, and you know what? I feel great, because you need to find that self-worth in yourself. Um, so that's what I'm meaning by that. Um, also, with people, smile to anyone you see in the hall, or maybe even compliment them. This is something I have been really working on. I tend to be, I, I tend to keep to myself. You may see me in public and I'm just walking, I have a destination, I'm gonna get there. And I might not be this bubbly, flirty person like I am on camera, like you guys see. Which I am actually this way normally, if you get to know me. Um, and if you do come up to me, I am more flirty. Not flirty. Haha, <laughs> that's awkward. But I am just more bubbly and talkative. But one thing I have a hard time doing is socializing with people, as weird as it sounds. If I am like in Walmart, I won't talk to anyone. I mean, unless I know them. But even then, I like to just keep to myself, mind my own business, not bother people. But you know what, smiling to somebody or even giving a compliment will make their day. And that makes you even more happy. You know what, they might be having a really, really hard day. And if you give that compliment or even just smile, like that will make them so much happier. And that then like makes you feel so much better. I know for me, it makes me feel so much better when I make somebody else happy. I just, I get that happiness from giving other people happiness. Not the only way. But it definitely is a big thing. See, I'm like smiling just thinking about it. Like I love making others smile. I love smiling too. Don't get me wrong, if you see me in public and I'm like, I swear, I'm, I swear I'm happy. I just have a really bad R resting bad face. When I say RBF, I say resting bad face, not, not the other way around. I actually didn't know it meant that. I'm getting off topic, but I told my mom, I was like, yeah, I tend to have a really bad RBF. And she's like, what'd you just say? And I said, a resting bad face. And she's like, huh? RBF means resting face. And I was like, oh, oops, <laughs> I didn't know that. Anyways, let me know if you guys, let me know if you didn't know that, because I didn't know that. I don't know a lot of things, actually. Just smile at people. And you know what? If you get used to like smiling at people, start complimenting others. Everyone, people will love you if you talk to them, if you make them feel more personal. And that just makes you feel more happy. Um, and, okay, another big one that I found was remember that it's all just temporary. You know what, if you're having a really, really, I actually do this a lot. I didn't think of it in this way, like remember that it's all just temporary. It's almost like YOLO. You know what? I'm feeling so scared right now to go cliff jumping. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. But then you think like, you know what? This feeling is just for a second. I'm gonna jump in that water and then it's all gonna be gone. And I'm, be, um, and I'm gonna be like, Psh, I didn't have to worry. So thinking of the worrying part, if you're really, really worrying about something, you're just getting more antsy and anxious for whatever reason, just remember, this is all temporary. There is an end to this. And just think of the end. Just push through that, think of the end, and honestly, it'll make you feel so much better. It'll save you a lot of hair. 
um, from your worrying. That was so weird to say. Here is something that I swear by. Wake up to the sun. Right now I'm actually sitting under, I'm sitting by this window, so it's super sunny in here, and I'm actually using the natural light. Waking up to the sun, I started doing this a little while ago. I saw somebody else's morning routine of them waking up to the sun, like they, they love to wake up to the sun, and I have found a huge difference in myself. Like it sounds, so weird and I don't know exactly how to explain it but just opening up the blinds and the sun beaming on you it really boosts that positivity gets you going in the day rather than waking up in a dark room don't wake up in a dark room I mean you can go to sleep in a dark room that'll help you go to sleep but waking up to the sun it can just really start your day happy and bright because the sun and it also has a lot of vitamin D, which is something you really need. Um, I also actually like to wake up to the sunrise. Like, I wake up and watch the sunrise. So I actually wake up before the sun. But then I start doing my schoolwork, and I start getting ready for my day, and I watch the sun come up. That really, really has... I've found a big difference in myself. I tend to be so much more positive, so much more enthusiastic for the day, as well as productive. I'm so much more productive. It actually says in a lot of places that waking up early gets you more productive. It may not make you more pro positive if you are not an early morning person, but if you are, it really can help. So that's why you can either wake up and watch the sunrise or wake up to the sun. Either way, if you're not a morning person waking up to the sun, and if you are a morning person waking up and watching the sunrise, it can really, it just really starts your day off great. Okay, something that I thought was actually kind of weird that somebody said to do, but somebody said to do was don't be late. But after I started thinking about this, it's actually so true. Sometimes when I am almost late for something, say I have an appointment and I'm waiting for my mom to take me, or say my whole family, we have somewhere we need to go and I, I hate being late. <coughs> So I'm just getting antsy and anxious, and then that makes me super stressed, which then makes me very upset and just almost like a ticking time bomb. Like if one little thing goes wrong, I'll explode because of all that stress, anxiety, and all that. So if you're not late, like that makes you feel on top of the game too. It, again, it's like a chain reaction. Like I just said, anxiety, then stress, and then just getting super upset at things, and then you start yelling. It's the same other way. If you are on time or even ahead, you feel more on top of it, you feel on the ball, you are able to get more stuff done because you are on a schedule and you are getting that schedule done. Just makes you feel so much more happy. At the end of that chain, there's positivity and happiness. I'm tired. Okay, another thing is don't compare yourself to others. I'm speaking from experience. This is something that's so hard for me. I know it's probably hard for some of you guys. I always compare myself to others and even subconsciously. I'm not even like thinking about um, comparing myself to others. I just do it. I'm like, oh, I love her dress. Oh, I wish I had that. Or like, oh, I love her hair. I want my hair to look like that. I do it like a hundred plus times a day. But I found some of the days when I didn't do that and instead of comparing like, oh, I wish I was as pretty as her. Instead of thinking that way, switch it and think, oh my goodness, wait, like, I actually look so pretty. Like, I actually look good today. Or I love this outfit on me. Or my hair looks amazing. I know it sounds cheesy and stupid, but it seriously helps. It will make you feel so much more positive, so much more happy. When you start th comparing yourself to others, you just get so much more down. You feel less about yourself, and that just makes you go way downhill after that so think more positive and you know what you are beautiful you are amazing and it, other people see you differently than you see yourself that's another reason why we need to not think so down on ourselves because you know what it's not true everyone around you probably thinks the complete opposite of what you're thinking if it's like bad of course like if you're thinking oh i don't look good today i'm fat or i'm not skinny enough whatever it is other people probably are like oh my gosh she's so pretty i wish i looked like her they're probably thinking like everyone's thinking the same things of others it's it's a huge it's it's common so be, think more positive of yourself you are beautiful i want you to say that to yourself like at least five times a day and if you find yourself thinking down on yourself or comparing yourself to someone else, then switch it. I want you to try and switch it. Just think, oh my goodness, like I actually love what I'm wearing today. Instead of thinking, oh my goodness, I wish I looked like her. 
try that. You really, it really will help, I swear. Be happy for others, that is another big one. Like, we all need to bring each other up instead of bringing each other down. Just be happy for them with what they have and if, and if you are happy for them, that in return makes you feel more happy, it makes you feel better instead of thinking more jealous of them, which you would think like subconscious, unsubconsciously, subconsciously, what's, oh my goodness, why am I so bad with words? But subconsciously, when you are th being jealous and thinking like, oh, like thinking, oh my goodness, she doesn't deserve that or whatever, she's so spoiled, things like that, you're, first of all, that's just being jealous and you kind of wish you had that. But it honestly, it brings, you might think it brings you up, but it's actually bringing you down. It makes your mood so much less. It makes you feel less, kind of, when you're actually trying to make yourself feel more. It's it's a weird that that I'm doing with my hands. If you're thinking more happy of others, like, oh my goodness, that is so awesome that she gets to do that. I am so, so happy for her. It makes you feel happy. See, like, when I'm doing that, it makes me smile. It makes me smile for them. And that just gets you happy. I keep saying this at the end of every one, but it makes you happy and that's what we want. We want to be happy. The next one is be organized. It sounds, it sounds cliche kind of, but being more organized, it keeps you a lot less stressed. If you have this plan, if you have things organized, you are less stressed and stress makes you unhappy and brings, it brings the negative. It brings the negative, the being upset, getting mad. So if you're organized, if you have these plans and you're getting these things done, it can just make you feel so much happier, more productive, which equals more happy. Like me, if you went to my house, I couldn't tell you how many planners, how many notebooks I have of my plan. I plan literally everything. Like when I was 13 or 14, I'm not sure which one, I was so excited for my next birthday. I think I was turning 14. I was turning 14. I was so excited that I ended up planning it seven or eight months before my birthday. So if you think that you are an excessive planner, yeah, no, I am, I'm right there with you, or I might be worse. Like I plan, I couldn't tell you if I could find all the notebooks or all the papers of me writing down my plan or my list of things things I have to get done or list of things I want to do, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would fill this bedroom. I, I do it all the time. It just, it makes me feel more secure. And in return, checking those things off for me, goodness gracious, it just brings up my positivity, makes me feel so much more productive. When I get that list done of the things that I needed to do that day, I'm like, oh my goodness, I am so good at this. I could like make another list and keep on going. It just makes you so much happier. Now, some of you guys might not be a list type person, but being organized helps everybody, I swear. Having a clean room, coming home from school and having a clean room makes you feel less stressed. If you come home with a pile of books and homework that you had to get done, and then you come home to a room that's really messy, it just makes even bigger of an explosion. At least I know for me it does. So being more organized, it's, it can seriously help. So try it out. I hope that helped you. I hope that wasn't completely random and made no sense at all. I really hope that helped. These are all things that have totally helped me. I have found that they help and I actually do all of these, if not try to do all of these um, every single day and I found myself smiling so much more and it just it makes you a better person makes you a better person for others Others want to be around you and everyone wants that and so it's just it's this huge chain reaction So positivity and happiness is such a big part of your life. So I hope this helped you I hope these will help you become more happy. We can all be a happy family <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching Bye